What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you a really, really cool pack. It's not a plugin, it's more of a pack because you're not actually directly installing this into Final Cut Pro 10. Now this does work on other editing programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Final Cut Pro 10. That is going to be the kind of frames, uh, or not frames, but like a, like a matte FX overlay so they're kind of be, they're going to be like vintage film like film strips if that makes sense now you can try this out using the free pack i will leave the link for the paid version as well as the free version linked down in the description of this video now this video is sponsored by cinepax pretty sure you guys have heard of cinepax before on the channel all right so i imported a video here this one is a new one actually i think this came out today or yesterday it's called frito bang big steppa featuring Santa baby Link will be down in the description if you want to watch if you want to watch that video. So to import them, press Command I, and a new media uh, import window will show. So if I make this smaller, so you guys can see. So we have the Cinepax Free Film Matte Effects, and if we open this folder, you will have all of the uh, assets. Same thing goes for you know number one, two, and three. Uh, the third one has the fisheye overlays, which are really really cool. If I push play, you're going to see that it's it's moving really slowly, but it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this because I've already imported all of them. And I'm going to go quickly through these. So if I click and drag one of them, like the vintage overlay, and it will give you like some numbers as well, 16 by 9. And that refers to the aspect ratio. So this video is in 16 by 9. If it push play, it's going to look something like this. Super cool. And again, this is just a still image. You can add uh, built-in effects from Final Cut Pro 10 on top of the overlay so this overlay is going to come from the free pack and that's called the fuji rpd 16 by 901 this one was also included in the paid version if you decide to get that one all you're going to do is click and drag this onto a video on your video and you're going to have it's going to look like this right now you can leave it like that if you think that looks really cool uh, or you can have three different videos so to do that it's very simple i'm going to first move it to here and I'm going to have to make three copies. So hold Option and drag this upwards. And we're going to go into the effects. And we're going to go into masks. And I'm going to get rid of that search. Click the draw mask. And drag that whoops, onto the second clip, which is this one. Now, once you've added that, go into the inspector tab. Click on the video and go back to the draw mask. Click on it. And we're going to make a selection from here to here. If I go back, we can make it like... This. Make sure it's straight. If it's not straight, you're going to have some cropped edges, which is not going to look good. So we're going to do something like this. Okay, it looks good. And uh, now what we're going to do is choose a different location. I'm going to split this video a bit. We're going to drag this one over on top as well. There we go. And now we have another video. So for this one, I want to focus on, I don't know, we can focus on this one here. I'm going to drag it below. Make sure that your videos are always below. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move the second video. Okay, so we're going to go into transform, go to position, and move the x-axis to, I don't know, the left or right. doesn't really matter. I'm going to move it to the left. Now, from this point, I want to add another mask. So go to draw mask, add that onto the second clip, and we're going to now mask out the left side of this one. So now it looks like this. So... I might want to extend this out. If I push play from this point, you're going to see how we have two different clips playing at the same time. Now we can do the same thing on the right one. Hold Option and drag upwards. And we're going to drag this one up. And we're going to change the location of this one to maybe this one. And just move it back. And instead of having to add another mask, all you got to do is just move the mask over to the right. Or actually, before you do that, we're going to have to move the video. So go to the Transform. Move the x-axis all the way to the right like so and you're done so now we don't have to create a whole another mask and it just saves us a lot more time so make sure that this starts at the very beginning as well and you can also extend this out for however long you want so if i were to push play now this is the effect that you have and it looks so so cool now once you're let's say finished with the effect you want to cut those videos so I've three right um i'm going to delete the rest now I want to move or trim the uh, overlay to the end so it looks like that at this point I think we could just leave it so if we were to push play it's gonna look like that 
and then it's gonna go back to the main clip, which is the middle one there, which is super cool. Um, now that's one, one effect, of course, but that's the same principle that you would do for the split screen effects, which would be these, it would be this one here. So if I were to drag this one, which is one in the paid pack, I uh, would drag that there. And again, you would just mask this out. I'm gonna split this so it doesn't affect all the other ones. And I'm gonna go back to the draw mask. I'm gonna go into masks and I'm gonna go to draw mask and drag that on top of the video clip. And I'm just going to make a selection around this piece. So now you have this going on. Push play, looks like that. Super, super neat. This would look really cool for Instagram if you really wanted to do that. Now we have these, which are pretty cool. It applies the same thing. You would just click and drag this onto a video. You can scale these as well. You can change the opacity, you can uh, rotate them. I mean, you can do everything else. It's just, like, it's just like a still image. So you can do whatever you want with this. You can change the hue of this if you really wanted to. It's like more purple or blue. I think more blue would look kind of cool. We're gonna add a shape mask. So drag that onto your video clip. And now I gotta just move the, the green points here and not worry about adding the points. And here we have curvature. You can get rid of the curvature. So we're gonna, you can make that a circle or you can make that more squared, which I want. And now you can control the featherness. So if you really want it to look realistic, increase the featherness between these two points. So the closer the outer edge is to the inner one, the less feather there is. The further it is outwards, the more feather there will be. Just keep that in mind. Now, once you're at this point, we can leave the effect there and we can change the position of the video on the Y axis to move this down. So we're gonna probably move this down like that, adjust the mask, right? So have it like this. Probably don't want any feather on this. So we can just get rid of the feather completely. Type zero. And again, position this to how you want. And now if we push play, it looks just like that. Now, if you wanted to be really creative, you can, if, uh, if I were to trim this as, or actually we'll just do this. You can create a compound clip I'm gonna name this effect, I don't know, one. From this point, you can then go to transform, go to the beginning of the video, add a keyframe, and maybe here we'll go to scale, and we'll just scale this up. So now, whoops, make sure we add that on the right location, which is frame up next to scale, not position, and then move the playhead in the middle, and then drag the scale a bit like that. So now if I push play, it's gonna look like that, super, super cool. And again, you could also rotate this. So you can add a keyframe next to rotation, move it around here, and kind of at this point, I want it to tilt like that. So if I push play, it's gonna look like that. Super, super neat. Now we have the videos here. So if we drag this on top and push play, this is what it's gonna look like. Super, super sick. If I were to turn that off. I mean, the video already looks awesome as it is, but with the effects, if I were to push play, you can just see how much of a difference that makes. Um, another cool piece that we can add onto this video, if I were to extend this around here, is we can do like a fisheye. So if I were to drag this around here, so I wanted to add where it's starting to zoom in on, on this guy. So we're gonna move the fi uh, fisheye there. And you can see, again, it's a full transparent video. So if I were to push play, it looks like that. I might wanna move it left. And that looks so, so, so cool. We have another fisheye loop, if I were to push play, it's gonna look like that. And you can add another effect to this. So if we go into the effects, we go down to stylize and we go into, I mean, we could add a camcorder, but it wouldn't make sense. So I'm gonna go down and go to, I believe this is called Bad TV, and it'll look like this, super cool. All right, yes, yeah, so this one does come in the free packs. If I were to drag this onto a video here, you're gonna see that this is more of like a transition. So you, we also have transitions one, uh, transition overlays as well. So it's just gonna be named transition and I'll show you that in just a second. So this is another one that looks similar to a transition. Uh, for this one, you would add a couple of keyframes, nothing too crazy. It would show on another video. Of course, we would sp splice it around here. So it would break that. And then this would be, I suppose this is a new video, delete that. So if I push play, it's going to look like this. So really, you don't need any keyframes at all, really, for this one. Now, we could go into the other ones here with the actual transitions. All right, so this is a transition. So if I were to add this over here to the left, push play, it's gonna look something like that. Super, super cool. Now, you could move this 
as like you can have it follow the same movement of the transition to do that it's very simple and so we're going to move the playhead at the beginning we're going to transform go to position add a keyframe and around this point we want to move the, pe the position on the x-axis to the left so just guess how far you want to move this i'm thinking here maybe so if I were to go back, it'll look like this. And from this point over here, we're just going to move it more to the left. So now it looks like this. <laughs> Super cool. And then from this point, we might want to extend this out. If that's an issue, you could, of course, extend it, make a copy, and paste it again. But you really want to work within the time that you have for this clip. Once the black starts to show, which is around here, I want to split this because this is a new video, right? So from this point, I'm going to add another keyframe here. I'm going to go about here before it uh, like zooms in. And we're going to move the x-axis to the right. So it's going to look something like this. So if I were to go back, well... Let's see. So from this point, we actually want a, the keyframe over to the left. So something like here. And then as it's kind of went through here, we want it, might want to get rid of this one, get rid of that keyframe. So this is the first keyframe. And then right here, I want another keyframe. So just move it to the left. So now it's gonna look like this. And then once it zooms in, completely we can just type in zero and it will automatically add a keyframe for you so now if i were to go back and push play you have that right there which looks perfect and it looks so so good i'm so glad that uh tyler created this pack honestly it's just so time saving for a lot of editors so i hope you guys find this pack helpful and useful for you guys if you do, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out Tyler Casey. He's the one behind the whole Cinepack store. Link is going to be in the description. Be sure to try out the free pack because I think you guys will love it. And um, yeah, I, I didn't want to get too crazy with the with the uh, you know the whole tutorial. I mean, this is more of a brief overview of the whole thing, but you guys can get creative. So I'll let you guys uh, try this out on your own, and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.